this water is cold. <laughs> you think bass want to spawn in that right now? No. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel everybody. We are sitting in a springtime toaster oven right now. It is in the 80s y'all. Let's go. We have got to give it a dangle. I'm talking, I'm sweating out here. We're on a severe warming trend. Coming off a full moon right now. We gotta go explore the upper creek. So I'm gonna go fish with my man Lunkers TV. Here at the Rackley Roost, we've got a new fresh layer. But one of our girls is sick y'all. She has a... Uh, like respiratory infection. If there are any of you out there that know, that have chickens, that know about respiratory diseases, please let me know in the comments if you have any remedies. She just started laying today. We got her first egg. There we go, in the box. So we have two layers right now, so we are getting some serious egg action, which is awesome. Yeah, you know, and there's a top flight in there just in case. Also, big update here, at the flock, we now have baby chicks. We have our new baby chicks, y'all, and they are just full of adorable cuteness. Um, we're gonna be doing some, some videos on like raising these guys, or gals actually, over at the Lake Life Family Channel and uh, our adventures, but multiple different species in here, and this is my little setup for them. There's actually, Seven of these, there's six chicks and one baby duckling. Anyways, exciting stuff. Springtime chickens, springtime bassin. Just made it up to the HQ, y'all, and we're getting ready to head out to the lake and go meet our boy, uh, Lungers TV. And uh, he's, uh, he's up on his land right now. He's doing some things with his fish up there. So he's gonna be a little late. And I also need to introduce you guys to something that is brand new that you need to get your hands on for the springtime dangle. You know, we promote a lot of boxes on this channel. They're easy. They're just a simple way to get a lot of things at a value and then also get things that are good for that time of year. You know, I do a lot of uh, plugs for Mystery Tackle Box. Well, we are building this Guggen Squad box but it is specific to each Guggen Squad member and exactly what they like to throw in the spring for their relative waters they, they, they like to fish. So loaded in here is some deliciousness and we'll get into it while we're on the lake. Tone that down a little bit, there we, there we go. Got my hands full, walking to the boat right now. Y'all, we, we had a bit of luck here today, just in terms of info. Is that truck pulling out right there? That's Tori. And uh, Tori, uh, gave us a little info, you know, I am, this is my nemesis lake, y'all. Uh, I never, never do well out here. That's my goal, to try to catch some fish out here. I, I don't know any season. Uh, I just don't perform well. So, anyway, it looks as if my, uh, my power poles did not deploy when I wanted them to. Uh, and my boat is... Not in a good position for me to jump in there, especially loaded down with camera gear. So I'm actually going to ask for a ride from Tori, who has almost the exact same boat as me. It's like little twinks. Just listen to the motors. Tori motor. My motor. Exact same motor. Tori, I need a ride. I did not do a good deployment. All right, you guys are actually going to get to meet Tori because... This is so weird. He was talking to Rob this morning and then I ran into him at this ramp and then I'm gonna be going over to get Rob and... Dude, your boat is clean. Clean? It's clean. It's cleaner than mine. Well, I'll try to keep it clean, but... Okay, this is Tori, everybody. What's up? Tori is, he's on the toads. If you don't believe me, follow his IG. What is it? T-Don Sweat. T-Don Sweat. Tori Don S Sweatman. Sweatman, oh, okay. Yep. All right, well, he's sweating out Mondo's out here, I can tell you, he showed me the photos. This happens every once in a while. You get a little, you know, off kilter. This one's caught a lot more bigger fish, I can guarantee you. Shoot. My biggest one out of that one is like seven or eight. Oh. So, we gotta beat that. We gotta beat that, it's time. Today. Tori, I appreciate you, sir. Yes, sir, anytime. Thank you. Just gonna step off right here. Dangerous move here. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Have a good one, man. Good luck. Thank you. I'll need it. 
I need all I can get out here. All right, let's go. Let's get it. Uh, I've run into a lot of fishing freaks today. I guess it's spring break because man, y'all are just, there's a lot of y'all that are normally in school, that are out of school. I was like, is coronavirus just keeping people out of school right now? And then I realized it was spring break. Ran into some people at the HQ that they came down from Kansas, all the way from Kansas to come visit. So, whew, arms tired from holding this camera out. Let's go catch some fish. Just coming off pad, y'all, and that water is 62.2 right now. And I'm just in like the mouth of the creek. Now the magic number, the magic number you guys gotta keep in mind is 64. Uh, when you get above 60 though, fish really start to push shallow. And I always say, if it's over 55, that's when like that moving bait bite really kicks in, at least in my area where I'm in. I'm gonna idle towards the back of this creek area and just see what the water temps are looking like as we get almost all the way back. While I'm doing that, let me show you what is in this box for you guys. This is the LFG Guggen Squad bundle, y'all. These are baits that I've curated that I think are the best baits, the baits that I use uh, religiously in the spring for success. Uh, not just spring, really summer and, and all times of years, but really things that are key right now, and you'll see me use these things in the video today. All these bundles come with a card and it's gonna tell you exactly what is in here. In my bundle box, you're gonna get a clutch in cash craw. You're gonna get 4.8 saucy swimmers. These are essential. Uh, for me and like stain to clear water. You know you're gonna have to get yourself some bandito bugs. This is gonna be green pumpkin, and I love to pair that on a half ounce black and blue jig, that juicy. When times are tough and you gotta slow down, you're gonna need yourself some lunker logs. When you need to go big and target some structure, we got your Mondo worms in here. And a couple more key search baits, mini recon. I've caught so many fish on this. It's great on other species too. I use these all the time. And a half ounce chartreuse and white Colorado Willow Tandem Spinner Bait, the zinger baby. This is gonna be an excellent search bait all times of year. So these are my favorite hard baits and soft baits with my favorite colors curated for y'all. Available now. Use the discount code LFG and you'll get 15% off. Link down below. All right, y'all, let's get the old engine fired up. Starting off with a little square bill. Always like to get a moving bait bite secured and know what moving bait bite is gonna work best. Is it gonna be a you know, shad colored square bill crankbait? Is it gonna be a red lipless crankbait? Is it gonna be a chartreuse white half ounce spinner bait? Colorado willow tandem, you know, what? what is it? Is it a little swim bait? If you're trying to cover quite a bit of water, where I am on a huge lake, that could be a just gigantic tool for you. 68 degree water, man, if I was a bass, I'd be back here warming up. I'm in two feet of water, y'all. It's just a little flat, spawning flat, but it has lots of grass and stick ups. Gotta try, gotta try in the back, just see. This is gonna be basically just fishing dirt, but. Caught him out of the dirt yesterday. Oh, go! Jeez. Oh, oh, my drag's loose. Oh, God. Oh, it's a carp. What in the hell? Are you serious? Oh, my God. I thought that was a giant daggum bass. Wow. Oh, that gave me a heart attack. Yeah, everything's moving up in here right now. Oh my goodness, guys. That's twice that's happened in the last few days where I'm like, that's gotta be the one. That one especially scared me because my drag was loose. I was like, it's taking drag. It's a giant. Oh God, got him. Oh my God, I slammed it. Slammed that spinner bait, jeez. Oh my gosh, I thought I had him. I mean, in the dirt. <sighs> Got 
Come here, red wasp. Come here. Come here. You want some? That's what I thought. Get out of here. Come here. Oh, that's what I thought, dude. Just smoke that red wasp into the water. Oh my god, one just boiled on it right there. One just boiled on it right there. Just hit the tail, that same spot. This could be a bedding fish. Okay, y'all, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if I hit a carp or what, but I had definitely had two hits in that exact same area. So it was kind of odd. Oh, God, that is a bass. That was a bass chasing right there. Oh my gosh. That has to be on a bed. Y'all, I'm not kidding. I, I, so that's where I thought I had a couple bites. And it was, but y'all, the boil from the first one was big. This bass, that bass is on a bed. There's no question. I saw it bust some bait and I threw back in there and it hit it. Wow. Okay, that makes me feel better because I literally had a carp before then and I was like, ah, I wonder if I'm just hitting carp. This water though is absolutely perfect for a spinner bait and swim jig. So I'm throwing the, uh, the half ounce zinger here in the chartreuse and white and um, I put the 4.8, or I'm sorry, the 3.8 a little saucy on there um and i i kind of cut the tail down um to make it a, a better spinnerbait trailer i'll show you guys that in a, a shorter video sometime but uh, basically on a spinnerbait and a vibe jig you don't want your boot tail swim bait to interfere with the vibrating action of the bait so it's kind of counteractive okay y'all the good news is we have found our search bait and that's looks like it's gonna be the spinner bait for right now and now that we've got that bait picked out we're gonna run some more water and we're just gonna cover obviously there's some fish on beds I think m maybe both of those bass that I caught were on beds because it was just weird how they like came back and hit, and hit it again shallow shallows a game so far for small fish where are the big ones though that's always the question let's keep running this pattern and see if we can churn up anything better I'm starting to see beds. Sandy spots. Oh yeah. Those are beds. 100%. Oh my god. Oh, that was a gar. Holy cow, that scared me. I think I might be able to get him to bite. Oh yeah, he's going to bite it. Look at that. Oh, oh, he's got my spinner bait. See that? Look at him. Look at him. That's crazy. Crazy. He's getting butted again. There's another gar. He's gonna come. He's gonna come get it. Oh, he got it. Oh, he took off. My goodness, the gar. Man, you know, I've always wanted to do a gar video, like catching him on yarn with a fly. This might be the place. Well, I'm not I'm not gonna say what just happened there, but I just, yeah, well, yeah, I lost about a six or seven there. I threw my spinner bait up into this very shallow grass and a fish waked out from less than a foot of water and grabbed it. I'm not kidding you. I don't know if it was on a bed or what, but it, it came out of there and smoked it so when I went to start my camera, I lost connection with the fish, and that was it. Ooh. Had a good one right there, a big one. But hopefully we're gonna find more. It just takes time to get all the way in the back of those pockets. So I'm going to get Rob right now. 
Now that I know that they're shallow, shallow, and they'll hit a spanner bay. <laughs> My gosh, got the juices flowing. So, you gotta idle through all these stops and then we're heading across the lake to get a large And there he is. Wow. Dude, I'm, no, I'm not kidding, dude. I'm here for. That's uh. That's third degree. That is third degree, sir. Oh. You can treat that with some aloe vera stat. I'm excited to be here. Like, I look at you and I get excited. <laughs> Got my computer because I'm doing work. Wow. Yeah, I mean, you don't see many people caked in mud holding a uh, brand new laptop. You know, usually two different spectrums. But anyway, Calvary's here and uh, we're going to continue our dangle, try to get them up shallow. Unless you want to drag out deep, like 20, 25. Not this time of year. Not this time of year, he says. Okay. All right, well, onward and upward and into the shallows. Little drop off. Yeah? Yep. There we go. Good. 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 This is a different fish, too. There you go. Flip it Come on, man. Get up in here. There's a little drop. It's like a one foot drop right there. Little bass. Singer. I would probably fix it too. I uh, lost contact. They're going to. Uh, oh, oh, got him. Oh, God. Oh, no, I still got him. Oh. Oh. Come on, baby. Came off that grass clump there on the electrodes. Woo! There's a fish. Oh, you gotta get in the boat and start catching? <laughs> grass. This is my good luck charm right here. RT. There we go. Just hitting the, the plain old spinner bait. Oh, just marked another one there in three feet. On the grass. Oh man, I'm gonna have to get. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm gonna have to get that lipless tied on. Good. It's two. I, I, it's I'm two. About to, I'm about to. I'm about to go old pop off status. Old pop off status and just drag. For Saturday. There we go. Got him. Up there. Yeah, you really found that one. Oh yeah. Freaking nailed him. Right Freaking nailed him in the dome. There we go. Red lipless crankbait fish. That is it's about the size you're catching. That is it, right there. You know, every once in a while, you pop, you pop old digging on that red. It just loads up. That's the one there. Look at that fat butt. Look at the old fat butt. Just hanging, waiting. It's like, well, let me get that 62 degree. Can a gal get that 62 degree water? about to find out are you stuck <laughs> oh we can't lose that i know we can't lose it i'll have to get out and get it this is no okay deal. rob's going in because we have a bait we have one of these baits <laughs> like i can't yeah. lose this bait uh well the yeah you picked of, a terrible time to get stuck yeah, I we're all hung up and we're actually stuck and you're stuck should i do no football or flip flops i would do no flip flops get that natural silt in there for a little exfoliation Oh, this water is cold. <laughs> you think bass want to spawn in that right now? No. <laughs> <They're out. laughs> I, got, I got me a lunker. Ha <laughs> ha, get it. <laughs> you, know, you know what just happened? I, got, I walked over here and barely pulled up and it came off. Wow. That was pointless. Dude, they're not spawning in this bay. I promise you that. All right, so we got, uh, we got a few more fish. They were not the quality um, that we're looking for though, so. So. Uh, we may go try to find a little bit more grass. The grass that was in here was pretty good, and the sh you could see shad flicking around in it, so there was bait. But first of all, we got to get this boat unstuck since you were already, uh, already here. acclimated. Yeah, we could could use a boost. Oh wow, she really was. Stuck How stuck is it? Uh, yeah, she's in, she's in there. Yeah. You're gonna have to kick that engine on. You think so? Yeah. There's not much to it's not much to work with back here. All right, hold on. Might need to lift up our butt. There we go. Are you gonna turn us this way? Yeah. Okay, there's a there's a stump down there. Yeah, you are stuck on a stump at the same time. Get in there and get that good old fashioned 2016 no, squat. No, you, you you're good now. You sure? 
No, I'm not. I think we might be on a log or something. Okay, let's give it a shot. Order. Then let's not soak your laptop. Is she going? Not yet. Good. I think, I think good. we're good now. Good. All right, y'all, last little bit of the day. We're gonna work it out. We're gonna work it deep in the creek. Oh, it's coming up quick. We're gonna try to find, the grass has been so key. Gotta find it, so let's get to grinding on the moving mage trap. I like that over there. Yeah, what the rock? Oh, look at the boil next to your thing. What, what's going on there? I don't know. That's definitely a bowl. Are they touching tails up in there? There's a bed. Oh, I see the sandy see spot. It? Yeah, you're right. There's a bed right there. There's a bed. <sighs> look at this hard bottom spawner city. Blooming cottonwoods up there? I think they're full moonified right now. How about these little discoveries though? This is good. This is the good this right is here. Good stuff, this at some point we'll have them. Uh, we have given it a just very, very adult try out here. Um, it looked amazing. Look at this beautiful sunset. We, we found like some good deep pockets, hard pockets, spawners. We've even found a bed just there at the end. We are going to be in big time business up here in the next few weeks because the water is 63.5 right here. I saw 70 degree water today. The only problem is I don't see the moon right now, but that is the problem y'all. Either way, I don't want to thank you for hanging out with me here today. And uh, if you want to check out the new box, uh, Rob has one too. You have a Lunkers TV box. So they are available now, guys, if you want to get your hands on one. We are running out of light. I'm going to get it on pad and get out of here. Thanks for being here. God bless you, and I'll see you on the next one.